morning everyone live look outside here on your Monday morning. It's been a stormy start for us with heavy rainfall 68 right now with uh, uh, that north wind at 15. So let's take a look here on satellite and radar. I was just kind of in the bullseye of this right now with some strong storms some heavy rainfall. The front is actually up to the north that will be sliding to the south. We have this is one of the one of two punches that we'll be getting uh, today. Another round possibly tonight. So heavy rain from Creston all the way to Red Oak. You can see up towards Atlantic right now. That's sitting over the same area. Traveling on Interstate 80 out of the metro, it's going to be a wet start. Some heavier storms around Washington up toward Iowa City. Still can't rule out some gusty winds with some of these storms and potentially some hail here for the next couple of hours. Been hit very hard from Audubon up to Carroll this morning, even out towards Guthrie Center, picking up anywhere from three to five inches of rainfall. Now these are Doppler estimates right now. You can see the color code up here indicating what certain areas have, have received uh, in the last 24 hours. So again, been hit very hard out to the west. The metro area coming in about uh, seven tenths since midnight, but other areas just the west reporting anywhere from one to two inches of rain. Now we do have uh, a flash flood warning in effect for the areas shaded in red. This will go until 730 just due to the fact that the heavy rainfall has just been falling over the same area this morning. Now, as we get into the afternoon, we'll start to see the intensity and the coverage of the showers and storms uh, decrease. So that's good news. So now everyone's looking at that one o'clock time frame of the eclipse. Now models are still indicating that the clouds will try to break apart during the midday time frame. So fingers crossed that does happen. So we have a view uh, of the eclipse. Make sure you have your eclipse glasses on, of course, if you are doing that. The dry weather is going to be short lived. We have the cold front that will arrive tonight and we're going to see around of storms coming through again statewide as this line pushes through later this evening. There's going to be a chance for some potentially damaging winds with this and also some very heavy rainfall statewide uh, overnight tonight. Now things will dry out by tomorrow. Maybe a few showers lingering or lingering early in the morning, but then as we get into the afternoon, we'll get some sunshine back and drier air finally will arrive. So of course it's going to be a stormy day for you this morning and again tonight 88 for the temperature today and then we cool down the next couple of days 79 on Thursday. That's a nice day for you. We stay dry Friday and Saturday with the next chance of rain arriving by Sunday. Brea?